All right, guys. Here we go. Hopefully, my computer doesn't shut down on me. It just shut down on me, and I was like pretty much done. I was like had a couple more minutes of this video to go, and yeah, it just shut down on me. I was like, oh wow, great. Um, but here we go. Anyways, be more positive and continuing going forward because there's no. It doesn't matter if you stay back and think about it. Cause it's just not any good. <clears throat> However, here we go. Uh, a regular fade. Uh, not mid. I wouldn't call this mid. I wouldn't call this a high end side. I would call it right in between those two. I wouldn't call this a drop fade either because I kept it straight all around the little boy's head. And I got the 5 out doing all the work here. And making my guideline, making sure it's nice and clean. Pulling that skin and being in control of the haircut. You know, don't let the client or the haircut um, control you. You control the situation. Get in there and make it happen. Don't be scared. Make it happen. Get in there and get out of there. Around the ears. You know, because it becomes a long day. It becomes a really long day in the barber shop. Uh, maybe you do this part time. Maybe you do this <clears throat> in your leisure time for fun. Uh, maybe for your kids or for your family. I don't know. But I hope you do take something from this, these videos. But yeah, you can't wait for the client to uh, just come to you and expect them to uh, just move where you want them. Sometimes you have to teach them. You have to guide them uh, using taps. Maybe like buy their mustache to fold their mustache or uh, their head or whatever the case may be. Okay, getting in there. And um, yeah, just make, making it happen, guys. Nice and clean. <laughs> this kid was enjoying watching himself being recorded. It's kind of cool. He's a cool kid. Happy little guy. It was like walking around the barber shop afterwards, like messing with stuff. I don't know. It was pretty funny. I see a lot of different things uh, working in the barber shop with people that come in and walk in, and especially kids. Whether it be crying their eyeballs out, or uh, <laughs> um, some some kids that matter better than adults. I'm not gonna lie. They uh, tend to. Some of them just really, really pay attention and, and let you do their thing. Little babies even. So they my guideline. And I'm uh, now making my second guideline. My masters are half open. Half open. So if you're using walls, that'll be uh, open all the way. And just making sure it's nice and clean, taking my time. I would consider this a pretty, fairly easy haircut. Not really hard at all. At least I don't think. I mean, any haircut's hard when you first do it, but after a while. Um, compared to a draw fade or like blending it in and you know, this is fairly simple this is like I don't know maybe like a, it's like a a taper like a huge taper all, all over the head I mean every haircut is considered I guess a taper because you're tapering off the hair everywhere but uh, I get like tapers on the sides on the sideburns and the back of the head uh, but this is pretty much the whole head I don't know if that makes any sense. But it makes sense. Next, I got the masters closed and taking out that first, that first guideline, stretching that skin, showing this haircut to his boss because I'm the boss and I'm gonna make this happen. You know, tool, the tools do matter what you use. You want to get yourself some nice masters. You want to. You want to get yourself some nice tools, of course, to last long, especially if you're going to be doing this for a uh, career, to make your job so much more easier. And thank God for the masters, for the walls, for all these clippers that are, have been made, and made our jobs easier. So get in there. Yeah, take your time, be confident. Again, don't let the client, um, you know, just dictate the haircut or kind of, uh, you know, you want to be in control is what I'm saying. You want to be in control of the haircut, know where you're going, focus, 
because you don't want to be all there waiting, wait, wasting time. You know, get in there, get out of there, enjoy yourself though too. I'm not saying just to be like hardcore with no like jokes or no like laughing or having the whatever you know, just being so serious. But enjoy what you're doing, but also have a mission and know where you're going with these haircuts. So blending it up, um, five eye to the end is closed to the end is this the second notch right here. Blending it up. Don't be afraid to take it up. Don't be afraid to um, uh, have fun with it. You know, this is art. Uh, don't be afraid to take your paintbrush a little higher or or a uh, few more strokes or a few more dabs of this or dabs of that. Use the corners. Use the corners of your brush here. Your clippers. You know, I know we're not artists. We're not literally losing paintbrushes, but we're basically, you know, basically Picasso's with um, uh, clippers. And the hair is art, is art here for us. Really, if you think about it. Blending, you know, art. You do a lot of blending with uh, art. Whether it be drawing mountains or birds or the sky, the mountains, you know, all that stuff. It has to blend together. And sometimes artists, they blend uh, colors together. Or they use a paintbrush a certain way, a certain angle. And the same thing goes for hair. Uh, all hair doesn't go the same direction, all hair doesn't grow the same, it doesn't cut the same. So for some, walls may work the best, for some, masters may work the best. Different clippers do have their, they have their um, strong suits in certain situations. But yeah, just trying to keep it nice and clean guys, I, I wanted to uh, do the best I can to keep this haircut together. Or the, the video, rather, the footage, the view. Fairly, fairly easy haircut. Um, take your time. This kid's hair, uh, this is kid's head, hair grew really close to the skin. And sometimes you gotta be patient with it and let the, uh, the, the, the haircut come to you. And uh, go over it, you know, take your time. Don't rush the haircut. The majority of people want quality over, 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 uh, quantity or um, speed. I mean, you know, how many times have you personally went to a barber shop or uh, a stylist or whatever and they rushed you out of the chair, you felt them rushing and you kind of probably seen some hairs or seen something you didn't like, you go home and you realize that the haircut was just like, like wow, he really didn't do a good job. Even if he did, did pay cheap, and realizing it was a cheap haircut, but then you go home and realize that, like, wow, this is really cheap. You know, make it quality. People will like quality. And that's why people buy uh, a, a Mac computer over, uh, you know, other computers. Because Macs are very, very, they're quality. They're going to last a long time. Compared to, I think, a PC. But it all depends, you know, sometimes. Machines are machines and they, they mess up. But you do have your quality. You have your um, cheaper quality. Lining it up. I had to be patient with this. And then let the uh, lining come to me. Getting those uh, baby hairs out of the way. Cleaning his head up. His forehead up. You can tell it looks nice and clean on both sides. The haircut. After a while, you just kind of don't think about what you're doing. You just go in there and you make it happen. That's what people want, you know. They like they like to feel that their uh, the barber is confident. The person cutting their hair is confident. No one likes someone who is just like really nervous. And if you are nervous, do your best to not be nervous and show confidence. Even if this is maybe this is a haircut that you don't know what to do with a different hair texture, different type of uh, whatever situation. But you know what? Do your best. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the client. And tell them, you know, if, if you really are not that confident uh, with the haircut, you know, you might want to tell them, like, hey, you know, I'm not really confident, but uh, I'll do, uh, I can, um, I'll cut your hair if you want to cut their hair, or maybe just have them wait for somebody else, you know. Or if you're up for the task, you know, you're like, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to make this haircut happen. Um, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna make it happen. That's usually how hair cutting goes. You just dive in and you learn. You get the feel. It's 
it's something you can't really teach somebody. You can and you can't. You can give them guidelines, rules, and laws, and what to go by. But it all comes down to that person and that hand. It's all about the the skills within your hands and knowing what to do and knowing where to go and having a um, a procedure or a not, a not so much well yeah procedure but having your your go-to steps your steps having your steps so you can see it's coming together the lining is coming together get it nice and clean and I did do some work <laughs> He's over here smiling. I did do some work uh, off video. I had to. I just wanted to make sure I get the main. I, I just make sure I get the main parts here. Cleaning them up with the foil shaver. Just the front here. I didn't do the sides or anything. Just the front of the. <clears throat> excuse me. Front of the forehead. Making sure he's nice and clean. I even take it up to the uh, to the lining. Just take your time with it. Enjoy what you're doing. That's the thing about barbering. It's like, you know, you love to do it. And you love to, uh, to cut hair and to make people feel great. And But you know what? After, after a long day of cutting hair, it becomes a long day and very exhausting. Um, so, like, again, uh, I, I mentioned this in the first time I was recording. But, you know, make sure you eat. Eat well. And take care of your body. Stretch out your back. Take care of your back. Make sure you're healthy. Uh, healthy barber makes for a healthy haircut, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, yeah, it's, I use some elegance here, and I'm about to line them up. A lot of people say I have a really soft touch. I mean, I guess it goes hand in hand with what I said earlier, just letting your tools do the work. You don't have to put very hard pressure and to strangle these people or you know, even with the soft touch that I have that people say, sometimes the blade just cuts people, man. It's just sharp. And people's skin is soft, you know? Their their skin is soft. Sometimes it's just too it's just soft and it just cuts, you know. That's why it takes um, patience and um, confidence and, and your ability of knowing where you're going and what you're doing. Make it a nice and crispy, nice and fresh. Looks like a like a mini TI or something, huh? So yeah, um, so yeah, it was from the five aught or the liners on the bottom uh, to the masters all the way open on top. So like a number one blade on top. It's nice and clean. Just working those edges. That's about it. But yeah, be confident, guys. Don't be afraid of any haircut. You know, sometimes you just gotta learn. You gotta go in there and you gotta make it happen. Like and subscribe. Share if you liked it. Um, post any comments, anything you guys want to see. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do my best to start uploading more. I got one more to do after this, and uh, get together and uh, upload it for you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. God bless. And us until the next video.